This is Dave with OC Astronomy. We are here for a big moment of unboxing. We're super excited. I have my astronomy dog. Her name is Cassie. She's named after the queen of Ethiopia, as you can imagine. Good old Cassie dog. Cassie, uh, Cassie has an aversion to bad weather. And uh, whenever the sky is nice and clear, she has a special bark. Yeah, I guess you could say she's my seeing eye dog. Uh, for those of you in astronomy, you'll get that stupid joke. All right, so anyway, um, I have the order from Celestron here, or Celestron, however you pronounce it, and it came in four nice boxes. It should be an Edge HD um, 1100 telescope on a CGX mount, and that's what is supposed to be in the boxes. I thought I would share with you opening it and uh, seeing what's in there. There's a big uh, all the tape says Celestron Quality Assurance, so I uh, I hope that they did their job right. So we'll see how it goes. First, obviously, is easy enough, the uh, counterweights. So let's see what they got here. This is just one, yay, 11 pound counterweight. Not too, uh, not too difficult about that. Set that down right here. That's all that was in that little box here. Next, we have this long one here. Uh, it kind of looks like a tripod box. I'm guessing that's a tripod. It's the right shape and everything. So here we have, yeah, there we go. Beautiful uh, heavyweight steel tube. And we have the, uh, the cool uh, eyepiece tray. And the, what's neat about this eyepiece tray is it has indentions in the corners, the way it's designed so that you can uh, drop the tray and rotate it a, a quarter turn and uh, you can still fold up the legs. So that's, that's kind of a nifty redesign that they've done. Put this over here with the counterweight. And the, uh, the tripod itself, let's see, you pull this out here. What do we got here? Oh, okay. I think that this is, yeah, it is. There's, a, there's another counterweight in there. Uh, nice and heavy and then the uh, tripod itself coming out here let's have a, have a look at this big boy all right very exciting all right uh. okay one thing to notice is it has just the the flat cap um, from what I've read it no longer uses the uh, the the rod down here. Um, no longer attaches up through the middle. It just screws into this hole here, but it doesn't actually attach to the scope. What secures the scope on, or are the mount on, are these holes here. You have bolts that secure that on. So it's not like the old style where you have the the center bolt doing all the. Uh, the job of holding it on there as well. This, now the center bolt, its only job is to hold on the accessory eyepiece tray. So, um, all right, so let's get, I'll lift this thing out of here. Holy cow, this counterweight. Yeah. Stick it over with the other one. All right, got uh, two counterweights, an eyepiece tray, got ourselves a, uh, a tripod. All right, what could be in box number two? Let's see, let's see. This one looks like the tube. Let's go with this guy over here. This looks like the actual CGX mount. Got your propaganda. Oh, there we go, okay. So what do we got? We have the hand controller, nicely packed. You have uh, Oh, this is the new hand controller holder with a Velcro strap or hook and loop. <laughs> nice marketing, right? Hook and loop for the uh, hand controller. Um, this is the power cord. We actually have the 5 amp um, AC power cord that we're going to be using in the dome. Um, it's more reliable, more sturdy. Um, these are the bolts that are going to hold the uh, hold the mount to the tripod legs. We have here the uh, azimuth adjust knobs. Those are the knobs that screw in from the side to help you push 
the uh, the mount one direction or the other. All right, so let's see here what we've got. I'm gonna rip some plastic open. <laughs> that fresh paint smell. Awesome. It looks fantastic in here. See if we can lift it out real fast. Hold on just a second. <laughs> 